up everybody, in today's video I'm going to be doing an art video and on this canvas I'll be doing a sunset with clouds. This is uh, new to me as it's a new video I'm doing in art and it's inspired by Trippy Draws which I'll be using the tutorial of. So the colours I'll be using are dark pink. Yellow. Dark blue, white, and light pink. And you can also use whatever colours you want. So, for the first step of this video, you're going to want to use the yellow, as you can see here. I'm also going to be using a long, thin acrylics brush for the yellow. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drizzle the yellow at the bottom of the canvas. And after you've done that you'll see me using the brush and brushing it and spreading it halfway across the canvas. So the second step of this canvas painting is you're going to want to take the dark pink as I showed you at the start of the video you're then going to drizzle it across the top of the yellow but make sure not to put too much as you don't want to add too much dark onto light and you'll see me just spreading it and blending it with the yellow. So I've just put place some newspaper down so the paint doesn't get everywhere but the third step is you're going to want to take the dark blue and you're going to do as same as the pink and the yellow you're going to drizzle it on the top where the white space is and make sure not to add too much as it's darker than both the colours and again you'll see me just blending it with the pink to make uh, a colour that doesn't make look like it have blocks of colours. Sorry for the shortcut on the video but here I'm still blending the blue, there's nothing changed, I'm just staying the same. <laughs> part where I was just adding a bit of light blue as I thought the colour that I used was a bit dark so this was an addition you don't have to do this again and you don't have to use the exact same colours but I just thought that I would add a bit of light blue product of the sunset but now I will move on to the clouds okay so the next step is the clouds so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the white that I showed you at the start okay so next you're going to want to take the light pink that I showed you 
and you're also going to want to put that in the palette next to the white. And a reminder, I am going to be using this fluffy, um, small, small-ish brush for the white and for the clouds. Okay, so take that uh, small brush and you're going to want to dip it in to the white I put into the palette. Okay, so then you're going to want to make kind of a line for the bottom of the cloud just by dabbing it, not a straight line, just dabbing it across. So once you've finished doing that small dabbed line, you're going to want to take some more white and you're going to want to make a, a triangle on top of that line, just like I'm doing now, and then you're going to want to fill that in after that. After you've filled finishing that triangle in, you're going to want to take some more white on your brush and you're going to want to build onto that cloud just so it looks more realistic and so you can see me here just filling and make, building it up and gradually it will make, look like a cloud. After you finish doing that main part of the cloud, you're going to take the light pink in the palette and with the same brush, just dip a little bit in. As you can see, I only have a little bit on my brush. Then, this is going to be for the highlights around the cloud. You're just going to start dabbing it and the white still has to be wet so that it can make a, a lighter pink so it looks more like a highlight and it looks more realistic and you can see me here just dabbing it around the edge of the cloud. So I have finished the first cloud with all the highlights and next I am going to be doing the second cloud so the same just going to getting some white on my brush and you'll see me here just creating and making the outline of the second cloud. Here is just a time lapse of me doing uh, the second cloud, but I did just stop. So you can see here that I did stop uh, because I thought it would be a bit boring for you to watch me create all the clouds. So here's just a jump cut and um, here's all the clouds made. Here's another jump cut of all the decorations that I did, including it because I just thought it'd be a bit boring but I hope you all enjoyed this video as it is a bit different and I hope to do another one and see you next time bye